Last year was a record year for electric vehicles in the U.S., more than 1.2 million sold. That was 50% higher than in 2022. And yet there are signs that demand for EVs appears to be slowing and may not be quite as intense as either automakers or the Biden administration has expected. Are electric vehicles really the future of transportation? Ford and Toyota, two of the biggest automakers in the world, seem to be struggling with their EV strategies. Today, we're going to explore the reasons behind their setbacks and what it means for the industry and the environment. Ford, the second largest automaker in the U.S., reported a strong start to the year with sales increasing by 4.3% in January. The automaker even topped Toyota, which was the sales king last year. However, sales of electric vehicles experienced a setback, dropping by 10.9% year over year to 4,674 units. The loss of federal EV tax credits for the Mustang Mach-E, colder weather, concerns over range, and higher interest rates were the probable reasons for the drop in sales at the beginning of the year. As a result, Ford has had to revamp its EV game plan by cutting production for models like the Lightning EV pickup and pushing out investments in the space. According to Ford CEO Jim Farley, the company will focus on hybrids as a bridge to the EVs, as mainstream customers are not willing to pay the same premiums as early adopters for EVs. Ford expects to sell about 3.6 million hybrids, up from 3.5 million, but only 123,000 EVs, down from 202,000. During the first half of the fiscal year, Toyota, which is the largest automaker in the world, reported a strong performance, with sales reaching 4.7 million, which is a 114% increase from last year. The company's EV sales accounted for only 1% of the total volume, with 59,000 units sold. Toyota drastically reduced its EV sales forecast for the fiscal year from 202,000 to 123,000, reflecting the decline in the Chinese market. Toyota CFO Yochi Miyazaki stated that the company will focus on hybrids to avoid price competition in the EV market, particularly in China, where local competitors like BYD and Tesla are offering cheaper and more advanced models. Toyota has already cut prices and laid off workers in China in response to the EV slowdown. Toyota expects to sell about 3.6 million hybrids, up from 3.5 million, but only 123,000 EVs down from 202,000. Why are Ford and Toyota lagging in EVs? The EV market is presenting a challenging landscape for many automakers, including Ford and Toyota, who have been struggling to keep up with the rapidly changing demands of this new transportation era. Despite the prominence and influence in the industry, both companies have been facing a combination of internal and external factors that have hindered their success in the EV market. One critical factor that has been holding Ford and Toyota back is their lack of vision and innovation when it comes to electric vehicles. While they've been focusing on their traditional strengths in trucks, SUVs, and hybrids, they've been slow to embrace the EV revolution fully. As a result, they have not invested enough in developing and marketing their EV models, nor have they offered enough variety and value to attract customers. Furthermore, the conservative and cautious approach to EV targets has failed to inspire a clear and compelling vision for the future of mobility. Another significant challenge for Ford and Toyota has been supply chain and production issues. They've been hit hard with global chip shortage and other supply chain disruptions, which have affected their EV production and delivery. Additionally, they have faced capacity and quality issues and have had to recall or delay some of their EV models due to technical glitches or defects. Moreover, they have struggled to secure enough batteries and other key components for their EVs, relying on external suppliers or partners. Market and consumer dynamics have also been a major hurdle for these automakers. In particular, they have faced fierce competition and price pressure in the EV market, especially in China the largest and fastest growing EV market in the world. Furthermore, changing consumer preferences and behaviors have forced them to adapt to a market that is increasingly opting for hybrids, plug-in hybrids, or other alternatives amid the EV slowdown. Finally, regulatory and policy uncertainties have added to the challenges, as different countries and regions have different standards and incentives for EVs. What is the implications and challenges for the industry and the environment? The challenges faced by Ford and Toyota in the electric vehicle market have significant implications for both the automotive industry and the environment. These challenges are multifaceted and complex, encompassing the areas of industry consolidation and transformation, environmental impact and sustainability, and innovation and regulation. In terms of industry consolidation and transformation, the EV market is becoming increasingly crowded and competitive, with new players entering the market and established players fighting for market share and customer loyalty. The market is also diversifying and becoming more complex as new technologies, segments, and business models emerge and evolve. As a result, the industry may undergo consolidation and transformation as some companies gain or lose ground, and others merge or collaborate. 
In terms of environmental impact and sustainability, the EV market is expected to have a positive effect on the environment by reducing greenhouse gas emissions, air pollution, and fossil fuel consumption. However, there are also environmental challenges and trade-offs to consider, such as the life cycle impact of EV production and disposal, the sourcing and recycling of batteries and other materials, the integration and optimization of renewable energy and smart grids, and the social and economic impact of EV adoption and diffusion. Finally, innovation and regulation are both critical components of the EV market's development and growth. Innovation is necessary to improve the performance, cost, and convenience of EVs as well as to create new value and opportunities for customers and stakeholders. Regulation is required to ensure the safety, quality, and compatibility of EVs, as well as to create a level playing field and an environment that is supportive of EVs. However, both innovation and regulation present challenges and uncertainties as they require coordination and cooperation among different actors and interests, as well as the ability to adapt and respond to challenging conditions and expectations. How are Ford and Toyota trying to catch up with the EV revolution? Ford and Toyota, two of the world's largest automakers, are determined to make their mark in the electric vehicle industry. In an effort to keep up with the ongoing EV revolution and meet with growing demand for zero-emission vehicles, both companies have announced ambitious plans and initiatives to expand and diversify their EV portfolio, increase their EV investment, and strengthen their EV partnership. To achieve this, Ford and Toyota are planning to launch new and improved EV models in the coming years, covering various segments and markets. Ford has set a goal to introduce 40 new EV models by 2024, including the highly anticipated F-150 Lightning, the E-Transit, and the Maverick. Toyota, on the other hand, is aiming to launch 15 new EV models by 2025, including the BZ4X, the Mariah, and the RAV4 Prime. In addition to expanding their EV lineup, Ford and Toyota are also ramping up their EV investments, both in terms of capital and research and development. Ford is committed to investing $30 billion in EVs by 2025, up from the previously announced $22 billion, while Toyota is investing $13.5 billion in batteries by 2030, up from $9 billion previously announced. These investments will help both companies build and scale their EV manufacturing capabilities, improve their battery technologies, and enhance their overall EV performance. Furthermore, Ford and Toyota are strengthening and expanding their EV partnership, both with existing and new allies. Ford, for instance, is partnering with SK Innovation, Volkswagen, and Rivian to enhance the battery and platform capabilities. Meanwhile, Toyota is teaming up with Panasonic, BYD, and Subaru to improve its battery and vehicle technologies. These collaborations will enable both companies to leverage each other's strengths, share resources, and accelerate their EV development and deployment. What are the opportunities and threats for Ford and Toyota in the EV market? Two major car manufacturers, Ford and Toyota, have both opportunities and threats in the rapidly growing electric vehicle market. To capitalize on the opportunities, they can leverage their brand reputation and customer loyalty, hybrid expertise and experience, and benefit from EV policy and incentive support. However, they also face threats such as losing market share and competitiveness to EV rivals, potential consumer backlash and dissatisfaction with EV quality and service, and dealing with the environmental and social posts and impacts of EV production and operation. To succeed, they must execute the EV strategies well, respond to the changing market environment, and address the challenges and risks effectively. Ford and Toyota are two of the world's leading automakers, but they are facing a serious setback in their EV strategies. Both companies have drastically cut their EV sales forecast by 2024, citing various reasons such as chip shortages, inventory issues, price competition, and consumer preferences. Their EV troubles reflect a combination of internal and external factors and have significant implications and challenges for the industry and the environment. Ford and Toyota need to rethink and revamp their EV game plans and catch up with the EV revolution. And that's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed watching it and learned something new. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. We have more amazing videos coming up, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.